I am making a relinquished layer deck. I don't know if there's any synergy between the two, but I thought I'd try making it anyway because it sounded like it'd be fun. And I honestly just got tired of relinquished kaiju as it's probably the best version. But starting off with the monsters, I play three copies of Relin Relinquished. Relinquished has honestly been one of my favorite monsters since it was released in Starter Deck Pegasus. As it must first be special summoned from your hand by uh, the effect of the Black Illusion Ritual. And then you can target one monster your opponent controls. Equip it to this card. You can only have one monster equipped to this card at a time. And the end gains that monster's attack and defense. And then if it would be destroyed by battle, you destroy the equipped monster. And if you would take battle damage from battles involving this card, your opponent takes an equal amount of damage. Next, I play three copies of Golden Eyes Idol. Golden Eyes Idol has the effect that uh, until the end of the turn, you can make it so its effect or so its name is Thousand Eyes Idol. This is just let, so that you can summon uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict without having to uh, summon off of Instant Fusion. <laughs> and then its other effect is this card is sent from the to the graveyard by card effect. You can target one effect monster in your opponent's field or grave and equip it to a relinquished or eyes restrict monster you control. As if it was put by that monster's effect, you can only use each effect once per turn. What was I think you equip from grave? Okay, now you just target one effect monster your opponent controls. Next, I play three copies of Millennium Eyes Illusionist. Illusions has the quick effect, you can discard it, target effect monster your opponent controls, and equip it to a thousand eyes, or a thousand eyes, to a eyes restrict, or relinquish monster you control, as if it's equipped by that monster's effect. And then, if a eyes restrict or relinquish is special summoned, while this card's in the graveyard, you have the mandatory have to return to your hand, as it's not an optional effect. And then you can only use each effect of Millennium Eyes Illusionist once per turn. Then for the Layer Darkness Monsters, I play three copies of Lilith, Lady of Lament. You can only use each of, or use the effect of Lilith, Lady of Lament once per turn, but you can tribute one monster to then be able to take three normal spells from your deck. Your opponent chooses one at random to send to your field, the other two get shuffled back into the deck. Which, I like this card because it can be any normal trap, so in theory you can eat t set cards like Infinite Impermanence or Waking the Dragons. And your opponent doesn't actually know what the set card is, unless you reveal three of the same trap. And then next I play three copies of Arima the Wicked Warden. Arima has the effect where once per turn you can discard it to then be able to add layer of darkness from your deck to your hand and then you can tribute one dark monster you control to draw one card or if you tributed a monster that was not arima you can then add a dark monster with two thousand more attack from your deck to your hand and you can use each effect of arima once per turn and then i play three copies of darkest diablos lord of the lair Narcus Diopolis has the effect that it cannot be targeted or attributed by opponent's cards. And then, uh, if a dark monster you control was attributed, while this card was in your, in your graveyard, or if it was in your hand, then you can special summon it. However, if summon it from your graveyard, it has to have been there before the monster was attributed. And you can summon it from hand if it was searched off of Arima. And then for the spells, play one copy of Instant Fusion, Initial lets you special summon an Eyes Restrict monster. Then I play two copies of pre or Preparation of Rites. This lets you add a level 6 or lower ritual spell monster from your deck to your hand. And then you can add a ritual spell from your graveyard to your hand. The adding a ritual spell is optional though. So you can use it just to add the level 6 or lower ritual. Then I play three copies of Black Illusion Ritual. This just lets you tribute any monster that has a level 
from your hand or field to then be able to summon Relinquished. Then I play three copies of Preparation of Rites, or Pre-Preparation of Rites. This lets you add a ritual spell from your deck to your hand, and then you can add any ritual monster that ritual spell mentions. However, unlike Preparation of Rites, this one does have to add a ritual monster too. Then I play three copies of Layer of Darkness. This just changes all monsters on the field of dark. Let's you, when you, if you activate a spell or trap card by tributing a monster, you tribute one monster your opponent controls instead. And during the end phase, it mandator- activates as a mandatory effect to then summon torment tokens to the turn player's field up to the number of monsters that are attributed that turn. And you can only use each effect of Layer of Darkness once per turn. Next, I play three copies of the Fang of Crudius. This just lets you send Crush Card Virus, which I play three of, to the graveyard to summon Doom Virus Dragon from your extra deck. Then to finish off the spells, I play three copies of Relinquished Fusion. It just lets you fusion summon using monsters from your hand, field, or grave. Or you can use fuse monsters from your hand or field or banish from your graveyard if you're summon an Eyes Restrict monster. And then you can banish this card from your grave, target an effect monster your opponent controls, or in their graveyard, and equip it to an Eyes Restrict monster you control, as if it was equipped by that monster's effect. Then you can only use each effect of Relinquished Fusion once per turn. Then for the traps, I play three copies of Radicator Epidemic Virus. This lets you tribute a dark monster that has 2,500 or more attack. To then be able to call a spell or trap and until the third end fa- until the end of your opponent's third turn after it is activated, all cards of the declared type are destroyed among the cards from their hand, field, or cards they draw. The only thing, however, is if your opponent searches for the, a spell or trap that you declared. So if you call it spell, your opponent uses a monster to add a field spell or something like that, that spell card will not be destroyed because it wasn't there when it was activated or drawn. And then I play three copies of Deck Devastation Virus. This lets you tribute a dark monster with 2,000 or more attack for cost, just like your Eradicator tributes for cost, to then be able to look at your opponent's hand, all their monsters, and then every card they draw until their third end phase after its activation, and destroy all monsters that have 1,500 or less attack. And then for the extra deck, I play three copies of Relinquished Anima. Relinquished Anima, just as the once per turn effect of you can target one monster in a zone this card points to and equip it to this card. Which that effect probably won't be used as often as you are not playing Kaijus in this deck. So, Relinquished Anima will just repent, depend on your opponent summoning an extra monster zone. Then I play one copy of Link Rebo. Link Creepo has the effect of an attack as declare involving Earth when Pont's monster declares an attack. You can tribute this card to then reduce that attacking monster attack to zero. And then if then you can tribute a level one monster you control, especially on this card from your graveyard, and then you can only use each effect at Link Creepo once per turn. Then I play one copy of IP Mascarena. IP Masquerina has the effect of during your opponent's main phase, you can activate its effect to link summon using monsters you control. Or you can link summon using this card you control. And then if it's used as link material, then the monster used for its link summoning cannot be destroyed by card effects. Then I play one copy of Nightmare Phoenix. Nightmare Phoenix lets you discard a card, target a spell, trap your opponent's field, and destroy it. Then I play one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn lets you discard a card, target one card of your opponent's field, and then shuffle into the deck. Then I play one copy of Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. Underworld Goddess has the effect where you can link summon it by using one monster your opponent controls. And then when it's link summoned, you can activate its effect to negate the effects of all face up cards your opponent currently controls. It can negate the effect of anything that was summoned from Grave, or I believe it can also banish or negate cards that would return cards from Grave to deck. 
Nope. So your opponent activates only like Monster Reborn that can negate the effect and destroy that card. And then Underworld Goddess is unaffected by card effects unless they specifically target Underworld Goddess. Then for fusions, I play one copy of Thousand Eyes Restrict. Thousand Eyes Restrict has the effect that other monsters can't declare attacks. And then once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls, equip it to this card. And if you do, it gains that monster's attack and defense. And then if it be destroyed by battle, you can destroy the equipped monster instead. And then if, if it, you take any battle damage from battles of volley it, your opponent takes the same amount of damage. Then I also play three copies of Millennium Eyes Restrict. I, Millennium Eyes has the effect that it gains the attack and defense equal to the combined attack and defense of all monsters equipped to it. And then it, all of your opponent's monster effects that have the same name as a monster that's equipped to it have their effects negated, which is the main thing with this and why there's nine cards in the deck that let you equip monsters to a relinquished or animum or... A relinquished or eyes restrict monster you control. And then finally I play three copies of Doom Virus Dragon. Doom Virus Dragon has the effect of when it's summoned, and this is a floodgate effect, so your opponent can only negate this effect by negating its summon. Which they can only negate the summon if they negate the Fan of Critias. But after it was summoned, you look at all cards in your opponent's hand, all cards they draw, and then any monsters on their field until their third end phase after it's summoning, to then be able to destroy all monsters that have 1500 or more attack. And that is the it for my Relinquished Slayer deck. If you have any ideas to what do to improve the deck, any ideas the decks I can see made in the future, or decks I can see face each other, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching.